Hey, everybody, welcome back. My next guest is a 16-time Grammy Award-winning musician and Rock and Roll Hall of Famer from Foo Fighters and Nirvana. Please welcome Dave Grohl. Hey, Dave. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. I'm doing well. Now, what I can't believe is that 2020 is the, tw this is the 25th anniversary year of the Foo Fighters. That was fast. Did you, did you have plans to celebrate and just couldn't because of the COVID? Yeah, we had, we've been planning for this year. I've been, I don't know, some people uh, don't mark anniversaries. You don't have to yell. Years ago. No, we sort of thought, okay, well, it's our 25th anniversary. We're going to make our 10th record. We have this world domination scheme to circle the planet a few times and, you know, celebrate with the world. And uh, we had finished making a record and we had the t-shirts printed and pressed and ready to go. And the trucks were filled with equipment and um, everything just stopped. Wait, and so, so we kind of had to did the shelve everything. Did the t-shirt say like 2020 tour? Does it say? Oh, 25th anniversary, everything. <laughs> they were well, they what, were what happens fans. to them were, now? Well, I mean, you know, you get a can of spray paint and you just paint a six over the five. I don't really know what you do. I mean, you know, it, 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 we decided that this was going to be the year. I mean, we we went so far as to making a, a 25th anniversary Foo Fighters Coors Light can. And so I have pallets of those things at the studio. Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you have any of you, do you have any there? I'd love to see. Do you have any? Well, since there's pallets of it, lately it's the only thing that I've been drinking here at the <laughs> home office. Those look like a, tell, ah. that looks like a tall boy. Is that like? I mean, it's a Foo Fighters size beer. You know, we don't, we don't mess around with those little pony boy things. Like we, we, go, we go right here. You, you, you have got uh, one of the, the few feel good stories of this year. I want, I want to uh, tell me the story. You, you ended up doing a drum battle with a 10 year old uh, over in the UK named Nandy, uh, Nandy Bushel or Bushel. I'm not sure how to say that. No, I think it's Bushel, yeah. Bushel. And tell me how it came about. She was already playing Foo Fighter songs online. Yeah, I think about a year ago, um, Nirvana's producer, Butch Viggs, sent me uh, a link to her Instagram where she was playing a Nirvana song. Okay. She was playing our song, In Bloom. And I mean, she's 10 years old. You know, she's this big, she's tiny, and she's just beating the crap out of her drum set. And when she does drum rolls, she screams. So not only is she playing all the parts perfectly, but when she does a drum roll, she's like, ah! So he sends this to me. I'm like, oh my God, this, this kid is a force of nature and she's an amazing drummer. And it was amazing. And then about two months ago, someone sends me another link and says, hey, this kid's challenging you to a drum battle. And I thought, oh, isn't that cute? And I watched it. She was playing a Foo Fighters song, Everlong. And uh, at the end, she goes, I challenge you to a drum battle. And I thought, that's adorable. And then I get another text and another text and another text from all of my friends saying, dude, you need to step up and respond to this. Like, you have to represent. Don't be a whip. Like, do this. So I thought, okay, I'll just, I'll play something simple and send it to her. One day later, she comes back with the, her response, and she just wipes the floor. With, she's kicking my ass. This kid is, like, <laughs> kicking my butt at the drums. So we went back and forth with this drum battle. It got to the point where, I mean, I, I just, I, sometimes you just have to concede defeat. We ha we, and we, here I was. We have we have a clip, I think. We have a clip of you. I don't know if you're playing together or you're playing over her or she's playing over you, but we've got this clip. Jim, hit it. That is beautiful. Yeah, she smoked you. There's nothing I could do. She smoked I mean, it was, you. It was literally, it was like being called out by the school bully, like, I'll see you on the playground after school. And I, so every time she would send me one of these videos, she would put one of these videos on her page. I just thought, like, oh, my God, I'm going to get my ass kicked again. It just happened over and over and over again. Um, well, what do you guys, uh, you, you got a new album. Do I have it here? I do. Okay, this is coming out. Medicine at Midnight comes out February 5th, 2021. When did you record this? Was this over COVID? 
Uh, no, we actually, we finished, we started about a year ago. I think it was October, 2019. And instead of just booking into a studio and making a record like every other band does, we thought, well, let's move into a house. We found this spooky, weird old house, not far from where I live. We put the drums in the living room. We were doing the vocals in the bathroom upstairs. The control room was in the bedroom. Um, and we started recording. And then we realized that the house was kind of haunted. At first we thought it was just a weird vibe and things were kind of being tinkered with when we weren't around, but we would come back and in the morning and, and the and instruments would be detuned and the we would hear things on the Pro Tools recording system thing and levels on our mixing board were, were changed. And we set up a baby cam to see if we could see any paranormal activity. I, we, I mean, it would freak us out, you know? So uh, the album is nine songs because we just recorded nine and got the hell out of there. We were like, this is, that's it. Wow. Yeah. Well, what are you playing for us tonight? Tonight we're playing a song called Shame, Shame. Uh, it's, it's the second song on the record. It's our first single. Um, well, the man is Dave Grohl. Stick around for a performance by Foo Fighters. Thanks, Dave. It's good to see you. Thank you very much. I see you too.